Good afternoon from College Park, uh, overlooking Maryland Stadium. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. We didn't really do a postgame show from that Minnesota I wonder why. game. Well, we've been doing one win or lose, but that's a, a little bit disheartening. But I'll, I'll ask you now on Football Tuesday, what was your takeaway from the Minnesota game? To me, that game all came down to one play. The game did. It was Maryland started off slow. Leah played okay. You heard Loxley say that today. Mm -hmm. But it came down to the one play where uh, the Terps were unable, uh, five on zero, mm -hmm. to pick up a ball and take it in for a touchdown on the yeah. block field goal. If they make that play, they go in. Mm -hmm. uh, the other team is losing their mind because they blew, they dominated the first half. And it's 17 to 17. Mm -hmm. And to me, Wayne, maybe I'm wrong, it's a different game if that happens. But it didn't happen. They came out, boom, 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 it was over. It was yeah. nothing to say. A couple touchdowns dominated us. But wow. even if they came back out, Minnesota scored, you're down by seven right. with the ball. Well, know. the momentum left. The the, mom yeah. Or, I mean, or the, the opposite of that, which is the fact that we didn't get it. And both we left that half cursing. That we didn't get it was easy. I sure it was, was cursing. I don't yeah. know about you, but yeah. Viner Four Gates makes your company work. Make your company work with hybrid solutions from Microsoft and Nextiva. The other thing with the Loxy mentioned, uh, and I'm talking mainly offensively, is that uh, you can't have five drops. Aaliyah was 17 for 27 with five drops. Yeah. And you can't have that. You can have one or two, but, you know, I know that fourth down play, fourth and one to uh, Chig, yeah, he never drops the ball. It, it, was, it. it was not a perfect pass, but he catches that ball nine times out of ten, maybe even yeah. more. And what was your take, Wayne? My take is that Maryland just isn't big enough, tough enough defensively to stand up to these teams that want to road grade you. And maybe one day... The talent will be here, the size, but Maryland just got pushed around for too long. Well, we hear that, that year after year, you know, and I and thought that was a problem. I thought it was dealt with, but it wasn't. Uh, uh, it was dealt with a bit, especially in the recruiting class that's freshman this right. year. But he doesn't want to play the freshman that much, and he's got. He sometimes came out there with two or three walk-ons. Now, Greg Rose is a good player, but he's a walk-on. And Sammy O, they picked him up from a junior college. A lot of what Maryland still plays are guys they got from a junior college or walk-ons, and the freshman class that started here in 2021 has some real talent, but they're not on the field. And I don't know if I want my 18-year-old lineman going up against every Minnesota lineman who was at least a fifth-year player. They played five guys at 26 years total experience across five people. I thought the announcers made a good point that some of the NFL teams could use a line like Minnesota has. And they could. Right. Uh, they outweighed... Now, they're not five-star kids, but they're huge. And doesn't mean they're great football players, but when they get in your way, it's hard to get around them. And when they get a lead and they mow you down and you get tired, mm -hmm. you saw what happened. I mean, the second half was unwatchable. Can we use that word? Yeah, so I'm, I'm at this point. Let's, listen, I'm not being critical of Maryland because mm -hmm. the second half of the Ravens game mm -hmm. was – Nauseating. Okay. All right. And is the that Washington, a better word? Washington football team has gotten to the point where I don't even watch anymore. <laughs> so that does make that unwatchable. I look forward to the game Saturday, all right? I think that uh, I don't know if Michael Penix is going to play. It looks like he is not. Uh, right. He blew out his knee against Maryland last year, and he has, he has not returned to that form. Indiana comes in at 2-5. and five. They're desperate for a win. Maryland's a little bit better than that and desperately needs a win. If he can beat Indiana... And you can beat Rutgers in the last game, you still get to go to a bowl. So that makes it good. 